this week's show, we visit Four Wheel Camper's new facility and get a peek at their new mini truck camper. Then, Jeff shows us a great air ride suspension system that will make a big difference in handling and ride when carrying a large camper or towing a fifth wheel. Plus, we'll go camping at Oregon's Fort Stevens State Park. All this and s'mores coming up on this week's Rolling on TV. Rolling on TV is brought to you by SkyMed. At SkyMed, we guarantee to take you home. And Jayco, America's most livable RVs. A few weeks ago, we joined Pam and Jeff as they took out a four-wheel camper's unit for a weekend of compact camping. Well, with a bad storm setting in and cutting the camping trip short, we also had to cut our segment short because of TV time constraints and didn't get a chance to show you four-wheel camper's new facility. So, let's catch up with Jeff and take a look at their new home. While we were collecting the information for our four-wheel fleet camper story, company owner Tom Hannigan told us a little bit about his company's move from an old uh, factory into the new facility. While we were talking to him, he also dropped a couple of hints about an exciting new product they've come up with. So we've stopped in here in beautiful Woodland, California to take a look around and uh, hear all about it from the man himself. During the last couple of years, we've seen a lot of growth in our market. And with the developments in the real estate market, we've needed more and more room for our production facility. Uh, now we have the opportunity to uh, move forward, move to a new facility. Uh, we've been struggling along with about 21,000 square feet of space. Uh, now we're in the, right in the middle of moving into our new facility where we've almost quadrupled the amount of space we have to build the campers. Uh, so now we've gone from almost 21,000 square feet to about 90,000 square feet of open floor. So our production departments, uh, welding, carpentry, cabinet assembly and all, now have the ability to quadruple in size. So the fellows have a lot more room to get the job done and we have the opportunity to have a lot more production as well. So uh, we have a, a huge backlog of orders. Uh, this is going to give us the opportunity to have more space to build the campers as well as build more for the marketplace for export as well as domestic. Right now I'm standing in front of a new development. Uh, we have for years have been asked by customers who either want a very, very small wind profile and low center of gravity, uh, lower weight as well, uh, as well as folks that want to be able to pull their truck with the camper on it into their typical garage door, which is 84 inches high. So finally we've made what we're calling the cajita, which is Spanish for a little box. Um, it's a typical camper, same width, same footprint on the truck bed. This particular camper is a fleet, uh, 80 inches long, a 75 inches wide. Still has everything inside, but it does not have the cab over portion for the bedding. What we've done is we've moved the, the couch sideways at the front of the camper. The kitchen cabinetry has been broken into two parts, a left and a right. So the refrigerator, the furnace, the stove is on the driver's side. And on the passenger side, we have the sink as well as cabinetry, water pump, and so on and so forth. Still has room for two people to sleep in it, but yes, it's a little box. It's a cajita, much smaller profile. Coming up after the break, we'll head to Oregon's Fort Stevens State Park a great camping and recreation spot. Don't touch that knob, we'll be right back. <laughs> 